Don Meats uh, was established in County Waterford, Ireland in 1980. As a family business, it remains true to its farming heritage. We work with some of the world's leading food companies and who are attracted to us by our strong sustainability credentials and qualifications. Really, it's uh, about the long-term view. Many uh, businesses now recognise that successful sustainability translates into successful business performance. I mean, it's looking beyond uh, next quarter's financial results and looking at the long-term goals. Across the supply chain, mutuality and shared value would be key to the sustainability of the supply chain, whether that's through forming long-term partnerships or even addressing the bigger picture, whether it be that social, environmental or economic issues, and also be the solution. And that's what I mean by that is bringing the right people together, whether that be through Plan A or even the Origin Green Borbia programme. And, you know, the agricultural food industry is the largest global industry and has a significant environmental and sustainability contribution to make. We work very closely with M&S in the supply chain. We meet regularly through supplier environmental exchanges where we collaborate on a pre-competitive basis for the benefit of the entire supply chain. An interesting project that we worked on with uh, M&S was the Speciality Lamb Supply Chain in which we formed a, we came together with farmers from the Brecon Beacons, M&S and Don Meats and provided a really quality lamb meat product for the consumer. The sustainability trend and agenda has really helped us to push boundaries. Working with Borbia and the Origin Green programme has really helped us to take a less insular approach, I guess. We're now looking at less traditional areas. Normally, we would have, within our own sustainability plan, we would have looked at energy, waste, water. Now we're looking at areas such as biodiversity and also community projects and, and the social aspect of sustainability. As part of the agricultural supply chain, we really see ourselves as custodians for the future. And sometimes the question is asked, well, will sustainable practices sell? Well, we really believe the question should be, well, actually, can you survive without them?